Can you take your driving tests in a different town or city? The short answer is yes you can. However, uh, you do want to consider a few things before making that rush decision and booking that test in an area that you possibly don't know. Uh, so for example, if you're taking your driving lessons in Bletchley, Milton Keynes, the common areas where you would uh, find perhaps an earlier test would be Bedford, Leighton Buzzard, Luton, Northampton. And you don't probably know those areas at all. And the problem you have is your current instructor that's teaching you in Milton Keynes probably doesn't know the area either. So let's say you book the test for next week, you tell your instructor, Mr. Instructor, I've just booked my test for next week. Your first problem is, is you, you haven't consulted them, so their diary may already be full. So I definitely recommend if you do see that earlier test and you're really keen and you want to get it done because of work or college, whatever your reasons that are coming up that is sort of forcing your hand to look for an earlier test, consult your instructor first and see if they're available. Secondly, do they know the area? So ask your instructor, do they know the area? Are they familiar with where you might be booking this earlier test? If they don't know the area, then obviously they can take you down for the test and help you practice a little bit in the area, but they're not going to be able to show you the hot spots, some of the test routes, some of the complicated junctions in and around the test centre. And that's quite important when you're taking the test to be familiar with the area and knowing some of these very complicated junctions or hot spots for failing. Every test centre has certain areas where learners fail if they haven't gone over the, that particular area before. So in Milton Keynes we've got a few no entries, uh, one way street where people sometimes uh, position left for turning right and we have some complicated junctions as well like spiral roundabouts and if you haven't covered them before and you suddenly uh, approaching them on your driving test it can be quite overwhelming and sometimes learners get flustered, they don't pay attention to the road signs or the markings and they lose the plot and they position themselves in the wrong lane or do something silly and out of test conditions they may have dealt with it better but because they haven't seen that particular complicated junction before it can phase them and throw them off. So I would definitely advise anyone taking their driving test to book a test in an area that they know uh, with an instructor that's familiar with the test routes and you should be a safe driver for life um, but it does help knowing the area and the test routes and the best way I can put this is if I if you're taking your A-level exams and I'm the teacher and I say to you would you like to see a mock paper of the A-level test from last year as a student, if you want to pass a test, you'd be daft to say no. So if I show you a mock test, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to 100% get it, but there's a chance that your test coming up will be similar um, to the one of last year, because it's you have to follow a syllabus. So that's why I think it pays to take your driving test in an area that you know. If you're an experienced driver, um, and you've been maybe banned in the past um, and you, you, you're very confident and you've, you've got that sort of experience of, of driving in the UK for a long period of time in different towns and cities then yeah perhaps taking your test out of town uh, won't phase you and you'll probably cope with it better than a learner that's not got as much experience as yourself. Um, so the pros to booking a test out of town. Uh, obviously uh, you're going to get it sooner but your chances of passing I would say will be less than you know if you if you're booking a test in an area that you know. 
The cons, as I've explained, is you don't know the area, your instructor might not be available at short notice. If your instructor isn't available, um, then you've got to try and source a new instructor at short notice. So I really strongly recommend before you make that decision to put that test right now or tomorrow or whenever you, you know, you're putting the feelers out and looking for the early test, just give your instructor a heads up and obviously let them know what you're doing or what you're thinking. And if you do see the earlier test, then give them a call, send them a text, and hopefully they'll respond with the answer that you want that they can help you. And if they can't help you, then at least um, they've managed your expectations and you don't feel let down. Then your next problem is finding a new instructor quite quickly that wants to take you for the test. And also you've got to get familiar with their car and their teaching style. So that's another reason why I wouldn't suggest booking a, a test in a random town or city you don't know because you're probably going to have to source an instructor in that town or city and they're probably not going to want to come all the way to your house where you live, say in Milton Keynes, to take you for a test in Bedford that's a 45 minute drive. 